Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to A Hat in Time. In this part, we're actually going to be going to the Twilight Bell, uh, one of the areas that definitely gave me a lot of trouble uh, when I was... Well, I tried to do it already, um, but that wound up being failed in favor of us doing... Um, which was it? it was the lab that got done as a result. So I don't know if it's going to have unlocked uh, a lot of the stuff I used to get there. And I don't remember well enough. It looks like, yeah, this one probably was a, we need the, uh, we need the um, horn sounded. And if I see uh, one of the guys mention that, I will head there right away. Because that, that was the beginning of the last session. That was when that happened. And like I mentioned yet uh, in the last part, um, it, it, they, each of them seem to be a test of individual hat. Uh, this one being the Dweller's Mask. Uh, and I will die probably two or three times on the way up to this Twilight Zone. And yeah, it's just, it's going to happen. I can't say anything else. But, I mean, at least you're going to see me doing better. Oh yeah, just ahead. Oh, so maybe there wasn't one. Ah, uh, there was this, though. Oh, and see, I did that last time as well. Uh, I headbutted it instead of uh, climbed it. Because the shift button... Well, actually, this is when I found out that my trigger button was acting up on my controller. Uh, and the trigger button is also how I use the power. So I was um, fidgety trying to do this on the keyboard as well. Oh, actually, let's get that health. I think I could use it. And in case we actually succeed this part, we're not passing this area. So after each one of these green ones, there's going to be a rest area. That's going to be very helpful. So we're going to follow this guy out and then make sure to jump back each time. Uh, the important part for this one is to do it in such a way... Oh, come on, no! I hit control and hit a shift. Ah. I wish there was a way to change it, but at this point I've pretty much gotten used to it on shift. Uh, so you... It's just easier than to get halfway up and then get teleported back, because I think it's going to teleport me back one checkpoint behind me. To teleport me back to the dead center of town? No, okay, I was going to say, I'm like, it better not have. But yeah, and there, now we're back up to full health. Let's continue on. I think there was supposed to be checkpoints in the middle of this area, uh, but because of how you fall, you wind up... Uh, bypassing where the checkpoints would have been. At least that's my thoughts on the matter. And that's why you'll always see me respawn way down at the entrance, up until we complete this area. I should have the Hyper Hatter badge on now, right? Yep. You practically need to equip the uh, grappling hook, so you better have gotten a second. Um, oh, come on. You better have gotten a second uh, badge pin by this point, just so that you can have both the Mad Hatter and the um, grappling hook on. Though, I guess technically you only need the grappling hook. They do give you enough stuff that it should be fine. Because, like, even without the Mad Hatter, you can make even that. I walked off the edge there. Alright, I don't know if this one's going to go as well as I'd like it to. I did want to do this as the grand finale of this part. Because I tended to record these in batches of five. Meaning, um, the last one I recorded last session was number 20. And I was hoping to do end this one at 25, because it's just it's easier for me to remember exactly where I'm at. And I mean, before I started um, the no catch alpha sapphire run, it was uh, all right. Well, every stream I'm doing it, so I'm sorry, every day it needs to be done. Oh, 
But now that we have the no catch, it's a little um, longer, so the batch of five videos actually would last me like a week and a half. And that's that's weird in my mind. But oh no 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 no. Well, actually at this point it's going to be easier for me to just fall and accept it uh, than try to continue on with the little bit of time I get in my head. Uh, the beam can indeed hit the bells. It's just a lot harder to aim, so I don't recommend it to try to do it for the distance. We. You know what? Yeah, you'll... I can't even say it. We'll cut to when it... No, you know? Yeah, we're going to cut to when that puzzle is complete. Oh, that's a cute grubbin. That's a real cute grubbin. Yeah, it was just like, I died a bunch, and someone would jump to my death. But now I can basically say whatever I feel like, up until uh, we happen to finish that part. The Twilight Bell is and then I'll just have it muted on my side, so. How goes your drawing? Is it working as nicely as you thought it was going to? Oh. It was never, it's never the case? Oh no. Is it becoming passable? It's something. Best description of a, of a work of art ever. It's something. It's a little something something. All right, so that was me clearing the bell. Uh, it ended with a little something something. But we have gotten that tower. You saw how it was going to be done. Um, yeah, I'm chatting with uh, Alex, who's in the middle of drawing, I think, my offline screen. Uh, that should be live by this point. I don't actually know, though. Uh, it may have been changed in patterns. In any case, we can now fly towards the Twilight Bell. And you may have noticed you can't actually see a timepiece in it. And this was going to be a grand reveal normally. However, um, since I've done it once already, I'm not really surprised by what it is, but ding, ding, ding. So you ring the bell three times, go into the middle of a weird looking tornado, and we are in the Twilight Bell. Not the Twilight Realm from uh, Legend of Zelda, the Twilight Bell. Realm. Much scarier. Uh, because there's a lot of things like that that really require your um, Dweller's Mask. And if you mess it up, well, you've messed it up. Good luck. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is these red guys, which. Um, while, where they're active, your mask does not work. Uh, it's helpful for a few of the um, parts, but as long as they're active, you cannot use your mask there. Alright, so that right there, here, I, I'll even point to it. This thing is what actually messed with me when I was trying to do it last time. So I'm hoping that that goes actually well for me. To the point where I want to actually do it first. Uh, Alright. I should just turn off the um, laser beam badge. It's not going to help us here. Uh, instead of laser beams, let's go with the hover badge. In case I fall. Oh. So, this is the gimmick for that one. You're going to want to be able to turn on and off your mask at such an uh, interval so that you can jump from the ones that disappear to the ones that appear. So, off, on, off. And this is why the Mad Hatter badge is not really neat, because you will get enough time. However, there's that thing way over there. The issue being, here's where we actually need to change hats. The sprint hat being the one required. Because there's, I don't think, any way you're going to make that run uh, with anything but the sprint hat. Which is annoying because you also have to swap back and forth between the, um, the dweller's mask. Now if there is a way to do this without the sprint mask, I would love to know. 
uh, save me a lot of time in any future playthrough of this game for me. But yeah, I spent so much time on it in this one. Oh, and they actually gave us two hearts. Because you've got to get to that area. And there is the uh, time base. So close and yet so far. We'll try with just the Dweller's Mask, see if we can do anything here. The problem is we're so much slower with the just the Dweller's Mask. And it doesn't give us enough time to... I'll take it. I will take it. That shouldn't have worked in my mind. It didn't work the few times I tried it on my side. But with that, we extend this um, flag ribbon. Which will lead us the final bit to the boss. Unfortunately... Uh, we still need to get there. We are currently lacking a few spots. So these guys, once again, in the red area, your uh, powers aren't going to work. So they actually just eat through it. There was also a piece of yarn under uh, that area right there. Right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to use that as a pointer from now on because it, it works. Um, yeah, so now we can actually get to it. Um, so yeah, there was a piece of yarn there. Not too helpful now. And there's a key up here. The downside is these guys can be pretty badly aligned. But, I mean, if you've got luck... Like, I don't, apparently. Um, like, I literally just jumped right through the gap. If you've got luck, you'll land right in, like, a middle portion that they haven't affected, and you'll be good to go. Next hit, we'll actually go grab those red hearts, because well, either I, I need them right now, or I don't need them at all, and that'll be fine with me either case. Because I don't think anything past this part was too, too challenging. Like, I think this bridge was one of the hardest parts for me. And now these guys seem to be pretty well synced, so... It's just a matter of getting to them in time. Oh, you can actually jump off that guy. So if you're missing some time, you could potentially use that as a shortcut. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that could work badly. Instead, it went fine. We got our key. Let's head back. in hand. Turn off this. And we can go through this doorway, finally. Oh, and it did the same glitch it was doing last time. Like, if I go through this door, you can see everything just kind of overwrites itself. So it's weird. But we're up against this gate. So we hit that, and it pushes the gate out for us. So it's a nice thing for us to have gotten caught by. Likewise, we have that one which drops it a bit, and you have to hit this bottom one too to drop it the rest of the way, and it unlocks the door. However, uh, we need a key for it, so... Also, there was a piece of yarn right over there. It's a, it's a tricky jump to get there. So you can turn on this guy. Sorry, I've done all this once or twice already, so I'm not doing them too, too complex. And so in the red space it works, but the green space, uh, keep it. So as long as your mask is active, it'll hold it up and you can walk through the red area. A very uh, good way of using these red guys. Just make sure to, you know, turn him off before you leave, since it would still be blocking this entire area. From here we can climb our way back up, finally. And through this door. At this point, we have gotten to pretty much the point we needed to. Uh, that. Now, I'm actually going to turn mine on here because I find this so much easier if we just turn that guy on. Like that. Um, because look at that, we can now walk 
basically safely to the halfway point, and then if we do die, we're just to hit him on, and it'll cover so much more space. So these are all on now. Because normally you'd have to turn all three of those on, and then they would all cancel each other out, more or less. But I mean, it's not a required sort of thing. I tend to always turn on like the first and the third if I can get to it. But with that, that that's the reason we couldn't beat it last time. Is that line right there? Are you shrinking? No? Alright. So we can head up this staircase to the end of the Twilight Bell. And, well, what what gives? You can't get up there. You hit shift to use your power. And as long as your power's on, you can get this. Otherwise, you're trapped in the ball jelly. But that's the Twilight Bell, meaning we have finished the skyline with one exception, the finale, which I believe we're getting at right now. His little pollen is going to fly and finally get this guy. And with all four pieces of pollen, we reach chapter four. The illness has spread. This is the finale, making the last thing we have to do finish this area. And it's going to be a little bit of everything we've done so far. But that won't be the case for right now. That'll be the case for next time. Thank you guys all for watching this episode of A Hat in Time. Okay, for reference sake, I know this, this part's only about 17 minutes. Um, we spent uh, something to the tune of an hour on it the first time I went through it, which is why it went so smoothly now. But anyways, have a great night, and I'll see you guys next time.